All right, you guys, we got a review coming. But first, let me tell you about me and Mrs. Jufro's favorite dim sum spot in the San Fernando Valley. This is A&W Seafood Restaurant. We love coming here, especially on the weekends. You know, you come before 3 p.m. and you get some dim sums. That's what we're here for. Now, look, it's pretty big inside here. Look at these, all these tables, chairs, people. There's the trays with the food. So as you can see, we got the shrimp noodle uh, dish. This one is really good. I'm not sure what the sauce is. That's a turnip cake. We got another shrimp noodle dish. That's how much we love it. You'll see in a second why. Now, shrimp hargal. That's a classic. I think, you know, everybody has to get that when you get dim sums, if you love it. So let's dig in, I'll show you guys something. Now, first, this, like I said, the shrimp noodle, I get a dish, wifey gets a dish. That's how good it is. Now, it's hard to eat with chopsticks, as you can see the struggle right there. But this is so good. And like I said, the sauce, I think it's like a soy sauce kind, but it just takes it to a whole nother level. This is I highly recommend. Now, the shrimp hargal, you have to dip it into the mustard and chili that will go up your nose and clear your sinuses as well. But man, it's just so good. Just easy, simple, but delicious. Have to have some hot tea, makes me wanna eat even more. So that's always good. Now the turnip cake, you gotta get the turnip cake. Now I think it's hoisin sauce. I don't know if it's a plum sauce or hoisin sauce, but it's so good. Simple dish, but quite delicious. I absolutely love it. You know, you get little pieces of turnip in there as well, but this, this is what it's about, the dessert the sesame balls. Now there's bean curd in here. So it's it's like a good texture. It's nice, like sesame seeds, give it a thing. You might think it's weird because you'd be like, well, look at that. But no, I, I'm telling you, it's very, very delicious. I love eating it. We love eating it. Afterwards, there's the inside of it. Like I said, that's the red bean curd right there. Now we love the honey walnut shrimp, but we were too full to eat it. Um, that's, it's just, they make it so well. You have pork, which I used to eat, but you know, it messes with my stomach, so I don't. That's the shrimp and scallop hargao. Wifey gets the pork one, or I think it's the shumu or mushu Come pork. On. And then this is so good. It's like a sugar cane that's fried with shrimp inside. It's so good. And then of course the shrimp noodles. I mean, it's so good we get it, you know? Now, this is again, wifey's dish, the barbecue pork bun. It was good. I would highly recommend checking this place out. Some great dim sums. Jufro. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, you guys, Jufro Fragrance is back again. I got a little helper with me. Don't know how long he'll be here for, but this is Grayson, all right? So today, and he already left. So today, I wanna talk to you guys about a phrase, and I'm gonna say something here that's gonna be very controversial, and I know a lot of people won't agree with me, but I think the people that know will know and will agree with me. To me, this is the Dior fragrance I feel like that should, should have or should get the hype. I mean, it's been a while since it's been out. It's been out for a very long time, but I don't think it ever garnered the attention that Savage eh, got. And I don't really think, again, to me, there's no comparison between the two. The one I'm gonna talk about today destroys it in every facet. Uh, uniqueness, creativity, the smell, just overall. Again, this is my opinion, so don't be upset, y'all. But to me, the one fragrance I'm talking about from Dior, and I think it's the, I mean, probably outside of, close to Dior Home Intensive Parfum, this is up there. Uh, it is Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum. Now, this scent, I remember smelling it in Sephora long before I even thought about ever creating this channel. Um, and I remember I was blown away. I was just like, wow, what is this fragrance? It's so beautiful. And I love myrrh and fragrance. So if you love myrrh, this is something you'll really, really enjoy. Um, so when I smelled it, I was like, I had to get a bottle of it. Years later, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull the trigger on it because I don't know if they'll discontinue this or not. So what do I get when I smell this? Well, to me in the opening, you'll get some citrus in there. But what I really smell in there is the lavender and the myrrh. This is gonna be a fragrance you wanna wear in the cooler weather, fall, winter, even spring. I think you can pull it off day or nighttime. Honestly, I really think it's that great of a fragrance and I think it could fit so many settings. Work again. Office setting is always tricky. Uh, now, if you want, I know a lot of you ask me, hey, I need a strong fragrance because I work outside or, you know, I sweat. And so this is something you could wear and I think people around you will enjoy. So again, outside of the office, I think you're good. But again, day or nighttime, any setting will work. I get eight hours, over eight hours on my skin easily. I 
even capped it off at over 10 hours. I've, I've smelled it numerous times. Again, it just depends on what I'm doing. Um, and saying, well, that guy is obviously, if I'm telling you all this, I think it's better than Sauvage. It's a five for a rating. This is absolutely stunning fragrance. This is very classy. It's very masculine. Very like, I again, I don't know if a, a younger person might like this. I might, I think they might like the Eau de Toilette version. Though even there still, you never know with that. But to me, this is again, something that I can see somebody like in their mid to late 20s and older uh, wearing. Guys, this is again, a fragrance that's it's just like I said, it's seductive. It's beautiful, very classy. You could wear this if you're going out somewhere like a fancy, like in a suit and tie, or if you're just going out to dinner, this will just be a fragrance that works. Now I've used a lot. I don't know how you could tell, but I, if I've used this a lot, you can't even see it. It's, it's already in the black label. And that's a lot for me. That is a lot for me with, especially with how many fragrances I have. That just tells you how much I love this. And again, I've had this for years already, but this is a fragrance I just keep going to. And again, guys, to me, this is the fragrance that should have been talked about. Not Dior Sauvage, which is very boring and plain and generic. This one actually has some depth and some quality and some uniqueness to it. Uh, so guys, again, if you're interested in this, hard, it's getting hard to find. I saw it on Fragrance X recently, and I think it was about $125. So it is a lot, but to me, I think this is worth it. I spent, when I bought it, it wasn't as expensive, but I think I paid over $80 for it. But again, this was years ago where there was it was more in stock and you could actually go to Sephora and pick it up. Where now, like I said, I've only seen it really on Fragrance X. But to me, if you have the money to spend, and like I said, you like lavender, you love myrrh, you love the citrus, and you think that combination will work. And I think, like I said, if you're in your mid to late 20s, this is one I would definitely check out, y'all. All right, you guys. Now, remember, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is better than Dior Sauvage? Uh, if you've tried it. I mean, obviously, if you haven't tried it, you're not going to be like, well, how do I know? But if you've tried both of them, what do you think? Which is the better one? All right, you guys. As always, thank you again for watching. Chew